Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. I've been buying myself new toys again. I'll put a link down below to it. It's a Metabo TS216 table saw. You might have seen the review I did of the Draper saw I've got and I didn't think it was working for me so I thought I'd give this a go. I know straight away it's not going to be a perfect saw or my dream saw but I'm hoping it would do the job and it didn't cost a huge amount of money. And this will do until SawStop contact me and want to give me a £3,000 saw. So this is not really going to be a review because I've just got the thing but I thought I'd show you the basic features of it, setting it up and my first impressions really. On the front you've got a wheel to raise and lower the blade which operates very smoothly then you can move that locking lever and then turn the wheel to tilt the blade. It also has a little cubby to keep a push stick. I mean these are not my preferred style of one but it's handy to have it there. You've got a cord wrap on the other side. On the back you've got a blade guard that hooks in place and a series of stepped adapters for the dust port. On the other side is where the fence attaches with these two clips. The onboard storage is handy if you're working on site but I'm probably never going to put the fence back there. Also in the box was the hose for the dust extractor and a mitre gauge. Oh, and an instruction manual which I never looked at. It's a T-bar style fence and it locks at the back as well so it runs smoothly and locks securely. Also has this kind of auxiliary fence bit which you can slide forward for extra support or put it on the other way for thin ripping. It's got a couple of extension wings one to the right which you loosen that knob and pull it out to the side and then you can lock it in place again and one on the left as well. I think it's a pretty fair sized table to start with but with these two bits pulled out you've got plenty of support. It's also got some outfeed support at the back but again as I'm going to have this set up in the workshop I'll probably just use my outfeed table. It might come in handy if I decide to work outside in the summer. While I'm around the back, I can see there's a little diagram that shows that the mitre gauge can be stored there. But again, that's not something I'm going to do. The blade insert is very easy to remove. And you just pop it out with a screwdriver or something like that. And then it has a screw in each corner for levelling it to get it parallel with the tabletop. This is a feature I was very interested in this saw. is a tallless riving knife adjust. So you can lower it down so it's lower than the blade for non-through cuts and then raise it up so you can get the blade guard on. It also has a lever that locks the spindle for the blade so you can change it with just one spanner. Install the blade guard, you don't need any tools either. It just clicks in place and then you push the lever down. The hose supplied then can go on top of this blade guard and then it attaches into a Y connector that the saw comes with. Then you can plug an extractor in and it's going to suck air from the blade guard and from underneath the saw. The right table extension has a little cutout that the hose snaps into. This looks like it might work well as it's going to keep the hose out of the way and it won't snag on any workpiece you push through. So something I knew I wouldn't be happy with straight away was the mitre gauge as they're non-standard. This is a pretty good gauge and if you listen you can hear it clicks into detents at the angles. So for a standard one, I'm pretty impressed with it. Right, let's make a few cuts and see how it performs. I'm just gonna use a bit of pallet wood. I've got the extractor hooked up. It's certainly not as quiet as the Draper as it's got a universal motor instead of an induction one. But I just couldn't find the perfect saw out there. It certainly cut through that with no problem as you'd expect and it's a really even cut considering I've done no real setting up just taken it out of the box and turned it on. For the next cut I'm just going to reconfigure the riving knife just to see how quickly it can be done. So the blade guard comes off then I pop out the throat plate, lower the riving knife down and then the throat plate can go back on and we're ready to make the cut. 
So this is the same bit of pallet wood. I'm just going to raise the blade slightly higher than it and cut it in half. With the draper saw, I fitted a brand new Freud very aggressive rip blade, and I'd probably have to do this in two, maybe three passes, and it'd still complain doing that. I intended to buy a new blade for this, but this is cut through like a hot knife through butter. So maybe I'll save my money for the time being and see how I get on with this one. Okay, so first impressions on this saw. Um, I really did no setting up at all. I didn't even open the manual. I've just, you know, attached everything and had a go. And I'm super impressed with, you know, the accuracy just straight out the box. You saw the wood go through, you know, resawing. Well, I don't know how wide that is, but did it in one pass, not bogging down at all. There's no way the uh, Draper saw would have managed that. And the cut quality is excellent. I don't think I ever realised really that power has such a effect on the quality as well. If the blade's bogging down all the time, you're not going to get that smoother cut. So it did really well on that. Um, things I knew about the saw before I bought it, I knew I wouldn't like, were non-standard mitre slots, which is just oh, a huge bugbear for me, why they can't all be you know, the same, and that it's going to be noisy. Everyone told me that the DeWalt was going to be horrendously noisy. This is probably on par with the Bosch I had. I mean, the Bosch was a great saw. I just didn't want to get the same thing again. Um, good points. I love the how you adjust the riving knife. I've never used a blade guard because I have to take it off to do three uh, through cuts. As this, the fact that you can just take this off so easily and then adjust the riving knife so easily, I'm going to try my best to use this, um, which will help with dust collection and help keep my fingers. So, yeah, as you see, I've really just taken this out of the box and had a go with it. So I'm going to use it for a few months and then I will give you some more thoughts on it then. Thank you for watching.